Hi everyone, my name's Heather. I am the software trainer for Maxon here in the UK. And today I want to show you a really quick and easy way you can apply different materials onto uh, your text objects in cinema. This is a question that I get asked quite a lot uh, when I am training, so I thought I'd do a really quick video showing you how you can do it. Um, so let's jump into cinema. What I've got here is um, really simple text in an extruder object with some rounding um, around the edges here. Um, and down the bottom, I've also got the materials that I want to place onto the text. First one I'm going to do is the material for the front face. And for that, I've got a checkerboard material. So I'm just going to click and hold down on the material in the material manager and drag it up onto the extrude object here and then release. And you'll see when it, when it applies itself onto um, the text, you'll also get a texture tag and you'll get the attributes uh, for the texture tag in your attribute manager. So first of all, the projection isn't quite right. So I'd like it to uh, kind of have a, have a flat projection. Uh, to do that, just change the projection from UVW to flat and that will solve the problem. So the next thing I want to do is apply this material only onto the front face of the text. Um, this is also done in the attribute manager. You'll see here that we've got an empty selection window. If I type in there C1, as in cap 1, so our start cap, and then press enter, you'll see now that the material only applies itself onto the front face of your text. So what about the rounding? Well, it's the same process. So click and hold down on your second material, drag it onto your extrude object, and you'll see here we've got a selection window, which again is empty. In this case, I need to type in R1, so rounding, your first rounding and press enter and you'll see that that cream color has now been applied onto the rounding. What about the actual um, extruded part of our text? This is slightly different. Um, I'm going to drag the material on like I have done before. So I've got a blue material here and you'll see that that blue material overtakes um, the entire text. I can't put anything in this selection window, um, but what I can do it's drag this material over to the left of the others so it, it goes onto the extrude object before the other materials go on. So our blue is, is our base color um, and all the colors that come in after it are basically stuck on top of our, of our base color. So that's how you can apply um, your material onto your extruded part of your text as well. If you wanted to do the same on the on the back um, of the text, it's exactly the same. So it would be C2 and R2 for the back as well. So when I render, you see that we get um, some nice multicolored text.